Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author, Mia Molson's Zia Missing, available on Amazon and Paperback and ebook. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's living in Mobile, Alabama, film producer and director and founder of Creighton Films. He um, he also uh, fe was fe he's featured on a YouTube channel, also on Amazon. He's got a, quite a few films, and um, he's also appeared on the Don Vick Show as starters, and he grew up in a town with members of Three Doors Down. We'll talk about that story, and also he's a 20-year movie producer. He's got a new movie out, uh, which is a story of um, love, revenge, and a man's redemption for a man to... Basically struggling to escape the darkness of his past. It's called Binded by Tragedy. We'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios of Sweet Home, Alabama, the amazing, multi-talented, 20-year movie producer and uh, director and founder of Creighton Films with Binded by Tragedy. Ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented Creighton Hobbs. Creighton, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Oh, wow, man. That was the greatest intro I've ever. I feel like I'm accepting an award. It's like, thank you. Thank you. You know, it's <laughs> great, man. Well, you got, well, you got some awards right there on your uh, shelf there, which reminds me of a shelf at home. You got your little awards and I could see some right there and I can see you adding a few more. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just props I bought off of Amazon and I just was like, here, this will make me look important. You know, <laughs> you sure they're not Academy Awards you bought from somebody else? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. So you're a movie producer of uh, 20 years. You're also a director and founder of Creighton Films. You've been featured. You're featured on a YouTube channel. Also, you got your movies on Amazon. You appeared on the Don Vick show. You grew up in a town with uh, members of Three Doors Down. And you have a new movie, which is about a story of love, revenge and a man's redemption for a Man uh, struggling to escape the darkness of his past. You also had uh, the history that haunts us, the mystery of Winnie Evans, the Dog River Monster, and um, we'll talk about the movie uh, Binded by Tragedy. And before getting all that, Creighton, tell us how I first got started. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, I first fell in love with wanting to make movies, right? Anybody mm -hmm. who's a director or even an actor or producer or whatever, they, they can always go back to that certain point and usually it's in their childhood most of the time and they say you know what i want to do that i want to do that movie magic this is what i want and me being a sick kid uh at seven years old i was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes oh wow and yeah and this was back in the 80s so i mean we're talking like you know, I was like, oh, you need an insulin shot? Here's a horse needle, you know. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I yeah. remember those long needles, they stick kind of selling up between like your teeth and gum and everything. Oh, I still get nightmares from that. We mentioned it. It's it's kind of like the modern day PTSD is coming back. So, <laughs> right. so you know, me uh, being uh, at seven years old and just really science was starting to learn about diabetes you know like mm -hmm. and it was still in the beginning stages of you know compared to where it's at now mm -hmm. so i was in the hospital a lot oh my god and so when you're in the hospital uh, as a seven-year-old and just a child you're reading comics and you're reading books um and you're watching tv and, you know, I, I started really, really watching TV, but I was just intrigued by it. I was like, you know, I wonder how they did that. I wonder if there's a way I could possibly make that or do that or something. And my parents, um, they just, they, they kept encouraging me, encouraging me. They was like, you know what? Follow your dreams. And just one day, your dreams... If they don't come true, you'll get that close to it. And here I am. For 20 long years, I've been uh, making, directing, and producing movies. Mm -hmm. And you're living a dream as well, too. And what was that one exact precise moment in your life that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? Well, uh, I remember I came home from the hospital, and uh, we had a VCR tape. I remember I, literally, those. you know, yeah, the, the VCR tape. So we I stuck in a VCR tape that my mom and dad recorded this movie, and it was called DC Cab by DC Gary Busey. Cab, Bu okay, yeah, it had Mr. T and Gary Busey, and you know, uh, uh, yeah, just a, a bunch of actors that was really getting started in their career, and for some reason, 
I watched that and I said, I want to be a director and I want to own my own studio. And mm. I want to, this is what I want to do. I want to create and make movies. And mm. that's what it was. That was my aha. Uh, my aha moment. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> certainly was. And uh, DC Cav, was it the uh, actors um, that was all assembled? They were getting their careers that made you get started? Was it the directing that made yeah. you get started? Or was it or was it a scene in particular in particular that made you say, I'm going to do this? Uh, you know, uh, actually, it was uh, Gary Busey and uh, Mr. T that was in this movie mm -hmm. that I, I just I, I loved how they're acting. But I also love how they framed it up and just how they took this really cheesy comedy and how they made it. You know, I'm not trying to make it like it should have won an Oscar. <laughs> it is what it Darn, is. You know? I was going to no, rent it. No, yeah, <laughs> no, but, you know, it is what it is. But being a child, but just really having that aha moment. And I was like, you know what? It's possible. I know I can do it. And mm -hmm. that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it does, too. And, uh, you know, besides Gary Busey, Mr. T, the ones you're impressed by, and also DC Cab, what, what are some of our other favorite actors and um, directors and other movies growing up? Well, um, as I got older, I always enjoyed, and I still to this day, enjoy watching Brad Pitt, uh, his performance, his acting ability. Because um, to me, you know, with Brad Pitt, he's one of those, whatever he's playing, um, you could tell that he is so deep into the character that you can, you just want to watch and see what this, this, that's what I like. That's what I, not an actor that's just kind of like, you know, I'm here for a check, you know, I'm going to give a mediocre performance. Um and I apply that to my films. You know, I I will I've hired and fired actors and gotten uh it's kind of like if you can't make me as the director believe it, what makes you think the audience who's gonna rent it on Amazon for two ninety nine or whatever? Mm -hmm. and, you or, know, or, or, even, or even buy it, it, you're right. Even buy it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it's kind of like I'm real you know, picky. I, I've got to, you know, I tell all of my actors and stuff, it's like, you got to make me believe that this character that you're playing is real. And to me, Brad Pitt really catches that for me. Mm -hmm. it, it's, he sounds like a modern day Robert De Niro, because I remember a quote from him saying that, um, I just don't play the part, I marinate. It sounds like the modern day uh, Robert mm -hmm. De Niro talking Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very mm -hmm. true. And, and who are your mother favorites uh, growing up, along with some uh, movies and especially directors? Who are your favorites? Um, directors. Now, I am a big Alfred Hitchcock guy. I, I am. I love Alfred Hitchcock. Um, I've actually learned because I never went to film school. Never. And huh. I learned everything, not everything, but a lot of influences come from Alfred Hitchcock. And you see that in my movies where I take his style of stuff, then it's just storytelling. Um, so, you know, like uh, the one thing that I, I, I will always remember from Alfred Hitchcock, he said, um, he said, you could record this lady on in a bikini at the beach, right? Just a still shot of that. And then you could go to the next scene and show a man and a woman uh, or a, a man and two kids. And you would think watching this, it's family. It's a family at the beach, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can take that same woman, same exact shot, and then cut to another person, to a guy dressed in an overcoat and a hat, and then press the camera angle down and then darken him some, and then you would think that guy's fixing up, you know, that, that guy's fix is up to no good. Hmm. It's basically that same shot, but it's what your next shot's going to be that's going to help tell the story. Hmm. I just, that, that was one of the things I loved about Alfred Hitchcock, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and what was your favorite Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock movie? Ooh. Um... 
probably, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to say it, Psycho. Hmm. I, I think that's everyone's uh, obvious choice as well, too. I was kind of thinking the same thing. There's probably some other ones as well, too. And, of course, you know, your yeah. favorite movies growing up, and uh, you mentioned some of those and maybe a few uh, that you really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, let's see. Some other favorite, favorite movies, uh, I guess. You know, I'm kind of a comic book fantasy guy. You know, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just me. You know, that's just what I like. Uh, so I like, um, here recently, the um, Avengers franchises. Oh, the, the um, that, that's the DC. No, no, not DC, mm -hmm. Marvel, right? Uh, Marvel. Marvel, mm -hmm. okay, that's it. Yeah, a... yeah. And and I also love uh, Batman. Uh, any bat, you know, any of the Batman movies. I'm a huge fan because, um, yeah, I guess just growing up, you know, like with me being sick and reading, my brother bringing me uh, Batman comics and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of it sticks with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time we talk about Batman, I think of the Adam West version. I don't know why, but <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I, I often think had the big giant belt, yeah. Or, or it's just like you know, carry like some shark repellent. It's like you know, in a Batmobile, get some shark repellent. <laughs> oh oh yeah. yeah. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. and uh, and of course, you know, you had all these uh, Batman actors, um, you know, throughout the years. Which one's your favorite? Oh gosh, I, that's a toughie, but probably. Because I, 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 I can only say two. There's only two that I will always say this is my Batman. And that's Christian Bale and um, that guy, that Robert Patterson. Oh, is, uh, is that the most recent one? The most recent guy. The yeah. most recent. Okay, nice. Yeah, the most recent guy. Uh, those two, to me, just really, in essence, captured what I've always thought about you know and dreamed about what the batman would be like you know <laughs> so mm -hmm. but and yeah of, and of course who needs robin and catwoman to determine as well too and of course you got your own movies as well too like the history that haunts us the mystery of winnie evans the dog river monster and of course you got the upcoming yeah. Bind binded by tragedy and we'll talk about those with um film producer director of founder of creighton films uh creighton Hobbs. but first listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs look at a professional website without breaking your budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studio offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Whitener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Whitener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has got great reviews. And Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Mayos. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms for 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, also on Podbean, Pandora, TuneIn, Apple, as well as um, Odyssey, and follow us on BitChute, Rumble, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and more. Take us with you on any mobile device. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast, T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com. Make sure you check out the Mike Widener Show podcast and for more great gift ideas, including uh, missing once and wrinkles, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Dia. Check it out today and support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the MikeWidenerShow.com. And I can tell you're being director. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, okay, we're done. You know. So. Oh, I, I thought you gave me the cut signal or something. <laughs> well, well, speaking of, well, speaking of being director, we have a uh, film producer and director and founder of Creighton Films, Creighton Hobbs here on the Mike Widener Show. You talked about working with some wonderful people and also, um, you know, being around uh, famous people and celebrities and soon to be's. You also grew up with um in a town with uh some um some some famous people themselves. Three doors down. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we uh we all grew up in the same small little 
little town in es it's called Escatawba, Mississippi. And this town is so small, the name of the town is bigger than the actual town. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's like one red light. It's like, you know, <laughs> and, uh, like, yeah, it's kind of like, you want to meet me at the red light? Yeah, there's only one, you know. <laughs> it's, but yeah, we, um, it's funny because we all, we all knew each other. And it was that small town, uh, real vibe, you know, um, it, it's, I think Stephen King said it best. Every writer is technically in, in each one of their books that they write is basically writing an autobiography, right? Uh -huh. uh, and so that's me of my films because I always have a small town kind of feel to it from mm -hmm. where we all grew up. But like, I, I remember um, Brad, me and Brad being in the same neighborhood growing up together. He was always musically just gifted. Um, like I remember him playing the drums just as a child. I wow, mean, a little kid, you know, him playing on the drums and just talking about music and things mm -hmm. like that. And I'm like, you know, I was like, have you seen the latest Star Wars? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was like, the music was great. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you may know. the force be with you, John Williams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that that was just love. We was always able to uh, connect with the creative aspect. You know, him was music, me was movies. So, <laughs> Well, of course, you know, putting them together, I mean, you guys have a great project and everything else. And who knew um, these guys in uh, Mississippi would turn into three doors down? I mean, who knew that would happen? Uh, right. And, and it's kind of like the same thing with me. Who would have known that I, I would have become a published author and a filmmaker? You know, I mean, it, it's just amazing. I'm like, man, out of our small little town, we we got some, hey, we got some rep, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. And, of course, you know, you mentioned about being an author. Uh, tell us about some of the books that you've written. Well, I published one book, uh, and it was my autobiography, How Many Chances. God, and okay. um and and it's you know out of print right now it's not no longer around because the contract went out on my with the publishing company but mm -hmm. uh I, when the contract went out that's when i decided to make a documentary autobiography movie on it okay. and that's what i did and and just luck had it and then the distributor was like yeah we want to We'll air it. And I was like, hey, all right. <laughs> you know? And of course, you also and, has also have some great works too, like The History That Haunts Us, The Mystery of Winnie Evans, and The Dog River Monster. And tell us more about those films. Okay. I don't, I never did The Dog River Monster. That wasn't oh, me. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, yeah, that wasn't me. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. That must have been a right one. Sorry. So, yeah, it's, um, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. That one out. <laughs> I know, I know how That's that fine. popped up. Maybe it was a Stephen King thing or so. Uh, hey, it happens every time I film. I'm like, wait, when did that happen? You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, but uh, yeah, the mystery of Winnie Evans that was my very first film, uh, or the very first uh, documentary that I did. And the distributor, I actually I published it on YouTube at what at when, when I got finished with it because I didn't know what to do with it. So I was just like, here, I'll put it up on YouTube. And it started getting so many views on it, and uh, the distributor saw it and contacted me and was like, hey, let us publish it. Nice. Sure. And, yeah. So I was like, okay, here, I'll sign the dotted line, and boom, and it just started after that. It's just been, I've been a workhorse ever since. Um, mm -hmm. And then, but then, well, I remember I did a few more, um, and... But we'll go to the history that haunts us. Uh, that's kind of like my paranormal psychological thriller type movie, mm -hmm. where um, it's a very deep thoughted uh, movie. It's like two and a half hours long. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, like really long movie. <laughs> but but it just it, it's it's just uh, I was able to really get to play like with paranormal and ghosts and things like that and film it and uh really 
you really, really get into that aspect of VFX and stuff. So I we had a blast, just a fun uh, shooting that, you know, for and uh, so and that got on Amazon, and uh, <laughs> and then after that um, was Binded by Tragedy, my latest one that just got released. Mm -hmm. and that's a crime drama mafia movie okay so i've always you know me being a history buff i've always enjoyed reading biographies and autobiographies and stuff like that about um mafia right i always just i don't know i just always liked to enjoy reading you know about that and you know when i was a teenager as well i had some ties with the dixie mafia Mm -hmm. as well and uh then so i was like well you know i created my very first short film was called locked in uh -huh. so i decided you know i made a short film my very very first one i did over 20 years ago i said let me redo it let me remake locked in rename it make a better script you know um, and that kind of thing, and I made it, redid it, and Binded by Tragedy is now on Amazon for everybody to watch and enjoy. Okay, that sounds good. We'll talk about uh, Hike and Watch, Binded by Tragedy, and uh, you also have an upcoming film we'll talk about it with uh, Creighton Hobbs in just one minute. You listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios, and brought to you by official sponsor of The Mike Widener Show, International Warring Author, Mia Molson Zia. We'll be back with film producer, director, and founder of Creighton Films, Creighton Hobbs, after this time. We're back with the founder and film producer, director of Creighton Films, uh, Creighton Hobbs here on the Mike Widener Show. We talked about Buying to Buy Tragedy, which is out on Amazon and um, other uh, platforms. And you've got an upcoming film, which you're really excited about. And uh, tell us more about that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. We are currently filming a fantasy vampire movie called Bloody Fangs. Ooh. And yeah. <laughs> Pretty bloody. <laughs> yeah. Well, and like, so I... Um, actually, who wrote it is the the star actor Julian Betts. He mm -hmm. actually came up with the idea. He wrote the script, and then he would call me, and we'd have a lot of late night sessions. Uh, you know, I would say, okay, well, just let's let's you know get this in the second act. Let's get this in the third act, and let's shape it maybe like this. Let's change some dialogue here, and. And he wrote it, and then he sent it to me. I put it in the script format, and I mean, it went off like it just went like wow. wildfire. I mean, I was like shocked about we had all these characters right, and I, less than a two days, they were oh, more wow. or less filled. Yeah, I mean, it was just people. And people are constantly sending me messages like, please let me be in this vampire movie. I've seen all your work. Right? Let me be in it. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know? uh, so it, it's just um, this movie basically, it's um, the journey of this one character, uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. And Michael, he is trying to find out the truth of how he became half vampire half human uh -huh. and as he you go along and you ride this journey with michael he you find out he finds out how exactly not only did this happen to him but to his brother as well oh wow because his brother is half vampire and half human mm. and so of course it's basically a story of rich versus poor mm -hmm. the, um, that because we you know i wanted to show that well i am a southerner and so i'm always rooting for the underdog you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yes, and, yes. And, and, yeah and most everybody loves an underdog story so that's what we kind of got that's the basis of bloody things you're 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 looking at a underdog story and that's what you're gonna just go through all of these great serious it's a very serious and dramatic it's not blood and gore mm -hmm. like a 
Jason movie or Michael Myers, you know, where there's just stabbing and killing. I was like, no, we. I want to take a different, not boring approach, but dramatic, serious. You know, let me, because, you know, as a filmmaker, I've always put myself in the audience position. What is it, if I was a paying customer, what would I like to see? Or what do I think? You know, what, what's, what is something you could do to throw me a curve, you mm-hmm. know, or what, what are you going to do to keep me sitting here watching this movie right. and not be mad that you bought it? <laughs> mm, exactly. <laughs> you <know>? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That certainly is interesting. Where can we, uh, and uh, when is uh, Bloody Fans uh, coming out? When can we expect it? Well, we're fingers crossed, hopefully by mm, April of next year or May of next year, we'll be finished filming it. Okay. And then with post production, and so maybe around September. October of next year, maybe, okay. maybe. So, Fingers so, crossed. So, so about uh, before uh, twenty twenty four ends, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. At the end of twenty twenty four, I would say that would be a safe, safe, safe bet. Okay. In the meantime, where can we find uh, "Buying It by Tragedy" and all your uh, works at Creighton? On Amazon. On uh, just go, you know, where you go to Amazon to watch movies, and you can type in "Binded by Tragedy," and it'll pop up. Um, and then, um, say, same with all the rest of them. How many chances, uh, um, the history that haunts us, um, my paranormal experiences, uh, the mystery of Winnie Evans. And I think that's it. Okay. Well, certainly <laughs> check those out. We're with a uh, film producer, director, and founder of Creighton Films, uh, Creighton Hobbs with Binded by Tragedy here on the Mike Wagner Show. Just a few, few minutes here with Creighton. Uh, what else can we expect from you in 2023 and beyond? Whew. Well, I know after I'm done with Bloody Fangs and it's done and said and good to go, I'm taking about eight or nine months off. I'm taking a hiatus of because I've been working straight for nine years. Wow. Nine years. I have not stopped. I've just been making movies, making movies, making movies. And I was like, you know, for every year I've worked, I think I need a month off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I- <laughs> I think that's a good policy. I think you should apply that to anything to freelance. You know, e- each time you uh you, you do something great, you take a month off. I like that. So I'm about to do that yeah. from now on too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and but I do, uh, you know, because my mind and just you know I can't sit still for too terribly long. You know, with you know about wanting to create. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a history that haunts us too. That is something that's just to my heart. You know, that's just something that I really want to do. And I'll probably, I don't know, there's no telling. You'll probably just have to find me on Facebook and be like, what's Craig doing now? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we can all figure that out. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Ooh, my biggest influence. Oh gosh, that's a toughie. So my biggest influence in my career was, honestly, I would have to say my dad. Um, okay. Not that he made movies or anything, but uh, you know he was a pharmacist his whole life. But I learned through him that you know hard work does pay off mm-hmm. in the end. It does pay off, and. I learned through him social skills um, and how to run a business and just being a good man uh, in general, trying to be a good, positive person. Um, I've always, and I've said in a media interview before, I said, I asked talking about my dad, I said, if I could be just half the man he is, I have accomplished the greatest thing in the whole wide world. Mm-hmm. And, and that's a great cure for, for pharmacists. I got to say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, it is from Dr. Feel Good. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Uh, the best advice, uh, especially with film, 
Never give up. That's the thing with whether it be acting, directing, producing, um, anything. Never, 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 never give up. No matter how hard, how tired you are of it or of the movie project, just finish it to, to the end. And then when you finally sit in the theater or you get to sit at home in your relaxed chair and you get to see that movie, then that movie is something that will be out there forever. And you're going to share the screen with all of the other big name stars that you and everybody else looks up to. So mm -hmm. never, ever, ever give up on your dream or what you're doing. And just for that, after a film, we can take eight to nine months off. We'll give you that proof. So <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we'll take a vacation with you on that one. Maybe we're three doors down. We're with uh, film producer, director, founder of Creighton Films uh, and the movie Binded by Tragedy. Creighton Hobbs here on the Mike Wagner Show. Creighton, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again thank soon. You. Keep us up to date. Thank Keep in you. touch. Love to have you back. And once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? What can people purchase or check out your works? Um, right now, you can go to our website, which is www.bloodybangs.com, and uh, that's up and going, and we have all the links to wherever you want to go, you know, from there. Uh, it's just like, you know, just go to the website, bloodybangs.com. Okay, well, all right, we'll certainly check that out. Once again, creating a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having thank you soon. You. Keep us up to date. Uh, Keep in touch. Lab yeah. happy back. Wish all best. And Creighton, you definitely have a great future ahead of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, man. I'm so honored. It's great.